Welcome back to the Ancestral Findings Podcast. Are you fascinated by the history of the Salem Witch Trials of 1692? Do you ever wonder if you have a genealogical connection to any of the people involved? It's a unique distinction considering not everyone in New England at that time was involved. If you have an ancestor connected to Salem Village, now Danvers, Massachusetts, you may have a fascinating connection to this infamous event. While the trials bear the name of Salem, the actual location of the accusations, trials, and executions was in the neighboring community of Salem Village, now known as Danvers. Today, Danvers retains several original buildings and sites linked to the trials, providing a historical context for genealogists and history enthusiasts alike. If your ancestors lived in Salem Village during this period, they may have witnessed or been involved in the trials themselves. By tracing your family tree back to the late 17th century, you might uncover ancestors who were directly connected, whether as accusers, witnesses, or even as the accused. When researching Salem witch trial connections, two groups typically stand out, the accused and the accusers. Interestingly, it's not uncommon to find people with ancestors in both groups, as familial or community tensions often played a role in the accusations. While there were dozens of people accused of witchcraft, only 19 were executed, and one, Giles Corey, was famously pressed to death after refusing to enter a plea. Corey's story is particularly poignant. Refusing to plead ensured that his property would not be confiscated by the town, which allowed his children to inherit his land. His wife, Martha, was hanged just days before his death. Today, the names of those executed are commemorated on benches in the Salem Witch Trials Memorial in downtown Salem. If you find you are descended from someone who was executed for witchcraft, you belong to a small but notable group of descendants connected to this dark chapter of American history. Most of the accused were not executed, however. Some saved themselves by confessing to witchcraft, believing it was their best chance of survival. Others languished in jail until the hysteria passed, at which point they were released. Still, not all those accused or involved left descendants. For example, Abigail Williams, one of the original girls whose accusations fueled the trials, vanished from the historical record after leaving Salem Village as a teenager. But many did leave descendants, and if you discover that your ancestor was part of the trials, you are connected to one of the most infamous and misunderstood periods in American history. The causes and motivations behind the trials are still debated by historians today, adding to the intrigue of this period. If you suspect a connection and want to investigate further, or if you already know of an ancestor involved, there are numerous resources available to deepen your understanding. The Peabody Essex Museum in Salem holds original handwritten transcripts from the witch trials. These documents provide a first-hand look at the words spoken during the trials, shedding light on the accusations and the defense of the accused. The museum also houses artifacts from both the accusers and the accused, along with correspondence from towns seeking advice on handling suspected witches. Even letters to the King of England can be found, showing efforts to end the trials from afar. The Bloodlines of Salem website is another excellent resource, offering information on both the accused and their notable descendants. Genealogy websites like Ancestry.com also have detailed family trees of the accused and accusers, which you can trace forward or backward to explore your potential connection. There is also a lineage society, the Associated Daughters of Early American Witches, which offers membership to women who can prove their descent from an accused witch. Membership in this society is a rare distinction, so if you qualify, it's worth looking into. The Salem Witch Trials remain a significant part of American identity. Their legacy endures in books, films, and cultural memory, serving as a stark reminder of the dangers of mass hysteria and injustice. By discovering your connection to the trials, you become part of this history, one filled with tragedy, intrigue, and a cautionary tale that echoes through the centuries. Thanks for spending time with me on the Ancestral Findings Podcast. I always enjoy sharing these stories, tips, and discoveries with you.
If you haven't already, head over to ancestralfindings.com where you can download a free genealogy ebook, request a free lookup, and of course enter to win the next book giveaway. It's been an incredible journey together since 1995, and your support through these past 29 years means more to me than words can express. I'm so grateful for this wonderful community of genealogy enthusiasts who continue to inspire me every day. Keep up the great work on your family history research, and may your next find be as exciting as your first. Thank you again for being part of this journey, and as always, happy searching.